Hi everyone, welcome to Crystal Crafts, and today we're going to be doing some uh, pincher scraps, which is what most of my channel is. is. Um, we're going to do some cup designing crafts. So um, what you're going to need for these are um, some plain white mugs, just like this. I got these from Walmart for 88 cents, um, and um, some regular glasses. Um, they recommend having a flat bottom glass, nothing with a rounded edge or um, any sort of like ledge on it. And I got these from the dollar store. Um, you're also going to need a pack of Sharpies. Um, they don't need to be Sharpie brand, I don't think. Um, but I always go name brand when I'm doing crafts because I don't want anything to get messed up. Um, I also bought these at Walmart. Most of the stuff is from Walmart. I just went there and went shopping. Um, I'm going to use some stickers. I had these stickers on hand. Um, so I'm going to use these. And um, you're going to need a couple different colors of nail polish. Um, I have five different colors here, um, just colors that I would like on my nails, so I figured I would like them on other things as well. Um, a tub of water, I'm using a clear just Tupperware dish, you can use sort of anything that will hold enough water that um, your cups or mugs will fit into, um, at least for the most part. A paper towel because I get messy, and a drying sheet, I'm just using a piece of um, regular cardboard and some toothpicks just to swirl around um, the nail polish when you're doing that. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a plain white mug and you can use lettering stickers, you could um, use a stencil, you can even freehand. I don't have good handwriting nor am I very artistic so I just have these um, patriotic stickers and I'm just going to put um, some star stickers on this mug so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, you can place them wherever you want. Um, while this is while this is happening, you should have your oven preheating um, for best and deepest color results. Um, the recommendation is 425 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. But if you're hoping for lighter colors or um, not as rich or something like that, you could go at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, my oven is preheating right now at uh, 425 just so I can see the deepest results I can get. Um, so I just put a couple star stickers around this mug. Um, I think I'm going to add another one over here just so it's a little bit more balanced. And uh, what I'm going to do is I picked out three Sharpie colors that I really like. Um, like a pink, um, a blue, and a purple. I'm going to start with the purple. Uh, these are regular point Sharpies. Um, they, they're like a fine point Sharpie but not like the, the super fines. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up to whatever design you put on there, sticker wise or stencil wise, and you're going to just start going around it with little dots, um, kind of like uh, when you're like carving a pumpkin and you're putting the stencil on there, um, just so you can get sort of the outline of the design. And you can go around with multiple colors, I'm just going to do purple for the first round and then I'll go back in with some others, um, around the whole design so that um, the part of the design that you want um, white stays white but there's a nice outline of color around it. And you're going to do that with all the designs around the whole thing. I used all three of these of the markers I chose and I um, just outlined the stars with little dots and then I connected them with um, small little lines so it sort of looks like a constellation. It's not any constellation because I don't know any. I know but not that many enough to do on a mug. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, take off the stickers, fingers crossed that the stars come out and then, um, and then I'm going to place them in the oven um, at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes and then um, We'll see how it turns out. So I took off the first sticker and the first sticker turned out pretty good. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about how that turned out. Um, the edges aren't that crisp but I didn't expect them to be just dotting around. Um, so I'm going to take off the rest and I'll show you how it looks after that. Now that that's in the oven, we're going to move on to um, glass dipping. So again, what you're going to need for this is some glasses. Um, they prefer flat bottoms, so nothing rounded or with an edge. Um, nail polish, I've chosen five colors that I really like. Um, there's a purple, um, a pink, a, a teal, um, a green color, like a magenta, um, a dark maroon color. Um, so for the glass tip and um, 
you're gonna need some toothpicks and I like to have a drying sheet I'm just using a piece of fiber for that um, so my water is um, room temperature they say if it's cold uh, the nail polish can harden in there and then it won't work um, so I'm gonna use um, the purple and the pink for this uh, glass dipping and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your nail polish and um, I'm gonna just wipe off the brush a little I don't want a wet brush all over the table and then um, you're gonna just pour it into the water um, a few drops at a time it says that it'll um, float um, it is floating now um, but it's spreading out and getting kind of thin so I think you're supposed to do this relatively fast so I put some purple in the lid back on and then I'm gonna put some pink in um, again wipe off the brush a little I'm just pouring some pink in there I'm gonna sort of swirl it around as I'm putting it in uh, but that is what the toothpick is for You're supposed to take um, your toothpick or your fork or whatever you decide to use and sort of just create like a whirly design um, something that you like so this is good for me um, and you're just supposed to dip the bottom of your glass in it so here you go and then lift it out um, it looks pretty cool um, from here we're gonna see how it dries I'm gonna dry it upside down um, it doesn't look like it's gonna drip very much um, and it is wet on top so when it dries um, there's some like weird bubbles so I'm hoping those weird bubbles go away once it dries but we're just gonna have to wait and see and now we're gonna move on to our third and final craft it's very similar to what we just did with the glasses but instead we're gonna use mugs instead of just doing the bottom we're gonna try and go up the sides with it um so again what you're gonna need is a plain white mug I guess you could use any plain color mug but white seems to turn out with the best colors um, toothpicks a drying sheet and um, whatever nail polishes you want to use so um, I'm gonna try darker colors on this one. Um, hopefully they don't all mush together. But I'm gonna use this maroon color and a teal color as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in. Um, the brand of nail polish I'm using is Wet n Wild. It was just um, was sort of at an in-between price at the store. Um, it's not my favorite brand. It's not my least favorite brand of nail polish. Um, but it seemed appropriate for the craft I was doing um, to pick sort of something in the middle. Um, this this color is bleeding a lot more than the others, um, so I hope it sticks as well as the others. Yeah. I'm gonna get ahead and swirl this with a toothpick, and I'll start dipping. So it looks pretty cool. Hopefully um, the bubbles and the water uh, dripping once it dries will eventually go away. Um, but so far it looks pretty cool. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way these two colors uh, didn't just blend into like a brownie gross color. So here's a finished product. Um, it held on pretty well but it did still leave some of um, the bubbles on there. Um, but the coloring is really cool, um, it looks cool from the inside too. They both turned out, um, about the same. Um, I think they look really cool, um, but it doesn't really add much to the glass much just sitting up like this, um, but I don't think I would do this with all of my dishes. So, here's the finished product, um, the coloring got a lot lighter in the oven than I thought it would. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed. I might um, do something like this again, um, but just more ink, darker linings. See, like you can barely see anything right there. Um, the stars that I did some 
outlines on, um, those turn out better. So I don't know if the dots, I just didn't do enough of them or closer, close enough together or um, like big enough. Um, they might have been too small. Um, but it looks cool, but I just, I, it was probably more of a user error than a craft error. Um, I would do this to warm my glasses. Um, even just to like experiment with different stencils or different designs. Um, but this one just didn't turn out exactly how I thought it would. So this is the finished product. Um, these are probably the fav my favorite one that I done. I not I done. I did. Um, the marbling effects looks really cool. Um, it, I'm very, I like textures of things. Um, this this ended up being a pretty smooth texture. Um, I like that it's only on part of the glass. Um, I would have been been a little more careful and tried not to get any on the bottom, but you know. You live and you learn. Um, I would do this to warm my glasses. Maybe if I had a certain color scheme in my kitchen that I couldn't really find mugs that matched. Um, if I was doing some sort of party um, that I needed a certain mug design, um, this would be really cool. And it was super easy to do. Um, the other one turned out... Okay, this one I didn't wash the water out, so it got some bleed from other colors I'd used. Um, I don't love that. I much prefer the the fresh paint and water color. Um, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, I just prefer the other one. So thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more crafts like this, please hit the subscribe button. Um, give it a big thumbs up and if um, you like videos like this or you have a good idea for Pinterest hacks or crafts you want to see, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching Crystal Crafts.